Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios, and today I've got something really, really, really exciting for you guys. Um, the Design a Horse program from Stone is back, and I will be making a separate video that actually goes up on Stone's YouTube channel. But for now, I just really want to play around in the new Design a Horse builder that I have spent literal years designing assets for. Um, so essentially, like, I have been doing a little bit of work for stone on the side alongside my college um, classes. I am an illustration major, if that isn't evidenced by like everything about me. However, if you're new and you're here just because of the designer horse video, welcome. Uh, go check out our other stuff like this video and this video and maybe this one. But anyway, we're here for designer horse. So for a while now, the Design a Horse tab has been missing off of the Stone website, and it is back. The program is back. Now it's not back in like full force, full force like it used to be. Um, the decision was made to cut some colors and cut some patterns. As you guys can see, these are some of the options that we have for Design a Horse now. Chip, Pebble, Stone. Uh, there are no chip builders done. There's a handful of pebbles, and the majority are the traditional sized stone. Foundation quarter horse, Arab yearling, trotting draft, ring pebble, the new draft pebbles is on here. The Arab mare pebble, Irish draft, Spanish mustang, loose, long mane, long tail ish, bunny, Andy, and then the two Arabs. Um, so everything else is not finished yet. I am still very much working on Design a Horse. As I'm filming this right now, it is finals week for me. So I'm like super, super, um, <laughs> I don't want to say stressed, but also yes, stressed. Uh, so I just wanted to go on here and play around a little bit. And like I said, I'm going to do an actual video that goes up on Stone's channel that gets more to the point, just basically shows you how to use it. But for now, I kind of wanted to play around and just, you know, show you guys what I've been up to and how cool it is and that you can actually order a horse this way. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Arab Philly. Oh no! Are we out of some bodies? Oh no. There must be out of certain bodies. So Foundation Quarter Horse must be gone and the Arab Philly, but Trotting Drafter seems to be working. There he is. So one of the things that I've seen um, lately is like when everybody's using this, uh, yes, this line work shows up automatically, but you still have to click it because this is the top layer. It's going to go on top. Colors. I'm going to open all these up. All the ones that are customizable eyes. Okay. So. You get in here, you pick your body, you know, you got your body, make sure that's clicked. And then there's bay, black, chestnut, gray, grua, seal bay, sorrel, or like flax and sorrel, white, buckskin, and palomino. Patterns, we got 2020 Overo, 2020 Splash, 2020 Tobiano, 2020 Abbey. There's the dapples option. And then there is a blue and brown eye option, as well as face markings and leg markings for each leg, striped feet and a chin spot. Now, I don't have, um, we didn't do the striped feet and the chin spot. Uh, probably eventually going to go back and do those for every horse. But for now, we have the basics of here's your body, here's your color, here's your pattern, and you can add all these leg markings too, as well as face markings. So I don't know, maybe let's just start playing around. Like let's drop in. There's bay, black, chestnut, gray, grua, seal bay, black and sorrel, white, buckskin, palomino. And these are all, these were all color picked right from uh, Stone's samples. So like I was given sample photos that I color picked all this from. And then, okay, let's see, maybe we want to, I always like the chestnut. I always like how I do the chestnuts. 
how and and their color is like so nice. So there's an Overo splash. See the 2020 Tobiano is definitely my favorite. I love this pattern a lot. Happy. So okay, so maybe I want the Tobiano. Let's poke around and see what other colors look cool. Black. There's a chestnut again. Gray. Gra Seal Bay. White with a white pattern wouldn't really make sense. You can't see like any of it. Buckskin. Ooh. Still like in. Oops. Oh yeah. And if you click on click to view, you can see all these sample colors on actual models. So these were the photos that I actually color picked off of. But these are the sample models that are hanging on at the factory. Shut up, antivirus. <laughs> I can add dapples if I want. There's my dapples option on chestnut. Now some it's a little bit hard to see, like it's a little hard to see on black. Um, it's a little hard to see on the flax and sorrel, but that's your dapples option. When you're doing like something like this and you have to export it um, as a as a layer, it's really hard to use like layer cells like multiply and that kind of thing. If I'm doing a piece for myself or like an actual like illustrated piece that I, that I export the whole piece, I would do dapples on multiply, but I can't really do that when I have to export like this. Let's give him blue eyes are nice. It's not like, let's go back to chestnut. Ooh, face markings. Big wide blaze. Now some of these, because it's from the side view, you're not quite going to be able to see them. So let's give him the nice wide. Let's give him wide blaze. And that's a pretty cool horse. And then you can add, um, with, with the patterns, there's no leg markings. But then you can go ahead and add like hoof stripes. Okay, I'm going to go back. So this one was out, this one was out. What about the pebble? Pebble Arab. Yeah! Pebbles Arab mare. And once again, you guys select the body. Maybe let's do something a little simpler with her. So like maybe we do a black. Oh yeah, and then you select your finish to gloss or matte or satin matte. Maybe I don't want any dapples, but blue eyes would still be pretty. And then which face marking do I like best? Heart would be kind of cute, but I kind of oh yeah, I like that a lot. Go down leg markings, coronet, low sock. Medium sock, high, extreme high, lightning, heel. So let's give her, maybe we want to just do, what is this, back left? A white heel. That's a really, really adorable horse, by the way. I have brown eyes. Nah, blue eyes. Yeah. My mom and I have been thinking now that design a horse is back up that maybe it would be a lot of fun if we both surprised each other with a design a horse. So like we would both go in and we'd we'd record us making the horse and then we'd order them secretly without the other knowing. Come on now. There it is. I say sometimes it takes a little bit to load. So essentially, yeah, we'd surprise each other with designer horses. So if that's something you want to see us do, go ahead and comment on this video that you'd like to see us do it because I think it would be really, really fun. I'd love to surprise my mom with a designer horse. Dapples. See, on some, it's a little bit darker than others. It's hard to do this dapple layer so that it shows up on those kinds of colors because it is so finicky. 
you know, because you don't want it too light on something like white, but then again, you don't want it too dark on something like black. Do brown eyes, big blaze, and when let's give them like the lightning marks. Those would be cool. Look at that. Lightning marks, and then you go with like maybe you go with like the striped feet. Actually, I like Bay a lot better on that. That's really pretty. And then this was the other one that I had a lot of fun with, was the Air Mare. Because this is a newer mold. Okay, so she's $200 to start with. So let's design, let's see if we can design something that's like $250. Can we, can we get $250? I think so. You guys will see that I lean a lot towards chestnut and black on these kinds of things. I just think that they're very, very pretty. All right, so adding a pattern is 20 bucks, so that gets us to about 220. And let's do like blue eyes. I don't know if I really want dapples, you know. Yeah, I don't know if I really want dapples. And then face marking. Hmm. The heart is so cute, but I always want to, I always want like a snip with it. So like that, I think I like that. I like that a lot. Or like an actual just like straight up blaze. Although splash would probably be really pretty and you get rid of the face marking. Ooh, I want to get something in the splash, but I don't know exactly like what, what color. Palomino splash, that's actually really pretty. And that was under 250. So like, this is definitely a really, really cool program. I'm so excited to see it back up with the builder that I've been working on. And I can't wait to see what you guys design. I'm really, really excited. Uh, like I said, I will be doing an actual uh, straight up tutorial video that goes on to um, Stone's YouTube uh, for how to use the program, like explicit step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the program and order your horse. But for now, this is just me kind of messing around with something that I spent the better part of uh, ooh, 2018, so three years creating. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.